In this demo, we will show how to connect a serial device to an industrial network using the Anybus communicator. We're using a serial temperature sensor from Papooch in this example, and we will use the Anybus communicator to set up the communication with a Control Logics 1756 L71 PLC from Rockwell Automation, just so the PLC will know if it's temperature for gloves or sunglasses. I configured the Anybus communicator using a regular web browser. Simply connect one end of an Ethernet cable to the configuration port of the communicator and then the other end to your computer. Then simply type in the IP address of the communicator in the URL field. OK, so here we are in the web interface. I first need to set up the serial settings for my temperature sensor. I choose Communication and here I can change the physical standard to RS485, which is what my temp sensor is using. The other default values are OK. Alright, I can now go to Nodes and Transactions, where I add a node for my temp sensor. I click Add Node, I want it to have Node ID 1, and I name it Sensor. Now it's time to add my Modbus commands, which I have looked up in the manual of the sensor. The first is Temperature. This is a read input register on address 1. Next is Humidity. This is a read input register on address 5. And finally we have Dew Point. Also a read input register on address 9. Ok, good. So I'm ready with my registers and can go on to the I.O. data map to see how the data will go from the sensor to the PLC. I can also change the way that the data is transferred here by simply dragging and dropping. OK, let's apply the configuration. I can then go to Home, where I can see that we now have serial communication with 6 bytes of data input, and I can see that the Anybus communicator is in operational mode. We have not yet started the Ethernet IP communication from the Rockwell PLC. If I go to the Ethernet IP interface, I can make settings on the Ethernet IP network. As we can see, I have 6 bytes of data input here too, since the communicator uses automatic data size. This means that it adjusts the Ethernet IP side to the serial side. Further down, I can download an EDS file, which has what I need to establish an I.O. connection to the PLC. This is also available on anybus.com. And with that, we are ready with the configuration and can move on to set up the Ethernet IP connection from the PLC using the EDS file.